Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So a few days ago, this particular lady here by the name Ada Oboro called off her wedding because of domestic violence after she heard of the death of sister Osinachi Mwachuku. Some people commended her and some other people had something else to say. So coming out with more evidence, uh, she is being grateful to Sister Osinachi Mwachuku. And I'm just going to read out what she said, uh, what she wrote here for you guys. Now, she said, even with the beating, that she was ready to carry on with the marriage. Then, along the line, if God decides that they are not meant to be together, they can go their separate ways. Let me just read out what she wrote for you guys. She said, David Okike, I am not your enemy. Sorry, I can't marry you. Ma'am Osinachi Mwachuku, you didn't just die in vain. God used you and saved me. I will always remain grateful. I wasn't just strong enough to call off the wedding at first. My intention was, I am already in this mess. If eventually we got married and everything keep being bad, if God wishes, we will go our separate ways. That was why at some point I started fighting for court marriage, which with the both help of our church pastor and my supposed husband immediate elder sister he accepted to do the court marriage with me but the unfortunate coincidence happened that same day minister osinachi unwachiku death surfaced the internet it was the same day my supposed husband beat me again mercilessly and it was his immediate elder sister that even pushed me into their own room and locked the door in order to protect me i wouldn't expect them to be truthful about it if their brother always beat me or not. After all, my supposed husband is their only son and brother. After the beating, I went to my father's house. It was there that my little sister called and was like, Mom said David beat you again. I didn't say anything. She went ahead and told me to check the internet that the popular singer who sang Ekweme is dead and they said she was killed by her husband just the way David is beating me. She asked me something that made me cry. Sis, do you remember our sister, your own immediate elder sister that died? Have you ever seen her again? She still went ahead to ask me, did you finish university education to go and die? I bluntly told her I don't have MB, which she immediately shared to me. My heart was shattered, not just for Minister Osinachi Unwachuku's death, but for myself. Seeing my death and because of what people will say, I am trying to work through it. So that night, I didn't sleep and I got a rethink. I decided that if my supposed husband will be the only man that will marry me on earth. It is better I remain and die single. Already, I went to Obia Zara police station to seek for advice. I told them I am not here to arrest anyone, but I am so confused and I need advice. After narrating my story and showing my wedding IV to about three top police officers and they advised me to leave the village if at all I am no longer interested to marry the, the said guy. That marriage is not by force. I planned leaving the village immediately even without telling anyone, not even my friends or relatives because I knew they are going to talk to me into staying back. On my supposed husband's post yesterday, he said I had scattered his marriage plans severally, but that is laughable because it was never my fault. In Igbo land, there is what they called freeborn and not freeborn, Ohu or Amado. According to them, he is not a freeborn and they cannot give their daughter who is a freeborn to him for marriage without a fighter and this is the whole thing that delayed the approval of the marriage it surprises me that my supposed husband always sound as if he is not from Igbo land and knows nothing about Igbo tradition always because of the love i have for him i told him not to worry that i am going to marry him whether anyone support me or not after all i don't believe in any form of segregation or discrimination 
determination. I divided my family into two just to be with him. I fought everyone just because of him. I disrespected everyone just to marry him. Until I convinced my mom to back me up. Thanks to mom for always being there for us, for me. And I am so sorry, mom, that I failed you. Back to the subject matter. After all my fight and I succeeded for the marriage to hold, he turned against me. He kept beating me in any little provocation because he knew I don't have anyone to talk to. After all, at first, my family asked me not to marry him and that it is against tradition. And I decided to disobey everybody. All my family and friends turned their backs on me. All I always do is to call the chairman of our kindred to report to him how my supposed husband has been abusing me. Even when I took in, I would tell him to give me, even if it is a little space like a month before sex so that I won't miscarriage but he won't rather he will drag me and end up beating me he practically caused all the miscarriages I went through by his beating and not even having a common self-control it was never an abortion it was miscarriage and I have my evidence please Look into the scan result below from Alice Equime Federal Teaching Hospital, Abaklike. That was the pregnancy that I miscarried last year due to his violence and rage, which he said, Teaching Hospital, Teaching Hospital, Abaklike aborted his baby without his consent. If the hospital have CCTV, it will be recorded right there because it was her other sister, Juliana Okike, who accompanied me to the hospital. Why did she accompany me and not my supposed husband? He kept giving excuses. Babe, wait next week. Next week that never finishes. Women who had witnessed miscarriages will tell you how painful and how broken it is to know that you are carrying nothing and you're still carrying it. My good people, in my own case, my supposed husband kept delaying everything. I kept begging him that even if he doesn't want to go with me to the hospital, that his elder sister, Juliana Okike, is a health worker. He should send her with me. And after everything, he accepted. Now tell me, how did I went to hospital without his consent and do abortion? It was a miscarriage and only God knows what I went through. It is better for me to live without anyone believing my truth than for me to die proving nothing. This my photo here was taken by his elder sister Juliana Okike at the hospital with my own phone. Please, guys, be kind to my picture. I never knew we are going to sleep over in the hospital that day, so I didn't remember to go there with my rapper. I have made my decision, and there is no changing it. Guys, my supposed wedding day is my survivor day. Happy survivor day to me. Hashtag, say no to domestic violence. Minister Osina Chinwachuku lives forever. Ada Uburu. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. This is the story of Ada Oboro. The reason why she came out with more evidence is because the man came on social media to debunk the news. Funny enough, this is the reality of so many women out there because of society. So many people are just ready to walk through their debt just because of what people will say concerning them. But thank God that a lot of people are now waking up. Some people are now learning from others' mistakes. And uh, that is it for you all. For me, I don't think she even like have to explain herself to anybody. You don't owe nobody any explanation because you owe your truth to yourself. And that is it for you all. Please, I'm going to leave you all to please share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And also, don't forget to share with others. You don't know who you may be helping right now. So thank you so much for watching. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.